Hey, Monica, it's Karen again. <laughs> you sick of me? <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted to go through your palette. Um, I just looked at the order. For some reason, this brush it was not in the order. I know I had added it, but I think in the phone, between me with the phone, I just kept messing up, um, it was left out. So you probably want to go online and order this. It's a, Right now, it is on sale, and they're going to be um, taking it off the sale. So right now, I think it's $22.75. It's called the Demi Corrector uh, Spot Brush. And it's worth having. Okay, so let's put the palette together. The beauty is you're going to get a palette where you can fit everything. So you're going to take your main highlight, which is amber. You're getting that in the order. Then you're going to put aura. You're getting that in the order. Then you're going to put olive. That's your contour. You're going to put that in. Rose gold. Your vanilla dust setting powder. That's the demi corrector. That's that orange tone thing that's going to take away any distractions on your face. You got Stardust in your order, but you can put all of your eyeshadows now together. So you have one compact. You travel, you're going to the gym, whatever. You can throw everything in one bag. Then you have your beautiful lip and cheeks. These can be on your lips. Cheeks, you can combine them. You have La Cienga, Ruby, and Plum. We did Plum on your cheeks. We did Ruby and La Cienga mixed on your lips. But you can mix all three. And you could use them on your lips, cheeks, however you want. So let's go. Let's start. First thing you're going to do is make sure your face is really moisturized and that you have sunscreen on. Next thing you're going to do is buy this brush and then tap into that demi corrector, that orange, with a very small end. It's small on purpose. Any distractions, you had that little sunspot here, you would tap there. I have some sunspots here. You literally put it on the distraction, take the big end of that brush, and it blurs it. It's pretty amazing. If you have under eye darkness, I do. Watch. I'm going to go into this corner. I take the small end. I tap. Remember, it's color wheel science. Take the big end. Blur. You can build the coverage to what you need to take away the distraction. But you can see how that looks much better than that. Let's fix that. So we go in, and we blur. So let's say you get a pimple I don't know. Even as adults, we give pimples. If you get a pimple, you get a red spot. You literally take it. Let's say this is a pimple. You just tap. And blur it goes away, right? That's the beauty of Demi. You could literally just do Demi and walk out the door. Okay, so you Demi spot any distractions. Then you're going to take your brush. You have the brushes there. I'm going to use the 3D brush if I find it. You had a 3D brush. You're going to go into air of, let's go into our contour first. So we're going to go into olive. Tap, tap, tap. Go right below the cheek. Come to the middle of the eye. Push up. Think of a Nike swoosh. You're pushing up. Same thing on the side. Come down from the ear, under the cheekbone, push up. You can see with that immediately add a definition. You're going to come up here. You're going to add some of your contour olive up here against the hairline. Contour our nose. Come down the center. The tighter in the lines, the smaller the nose. So you can make it tiny. You can make it big. And you come over here. Under here. And then I would contour down. Contour here, here, and even down my neck. Next thing you're going to do is take a bigger end of that same brush. You're going to go into your amber. Tap, tap, tap. Anywhere you don't have contour, you put amber. You only want one layer of makeup on. We can blend all this on. So amber, amber, amber. Next thing you're going to do is take the same brush, wipe it off, and you're going to go into that second color, Aura. It's your highlight or concealer color. It's lighter. We come into the middle of the eye down here. Bright, bright, brighten, brighten, brighten. 
come down the middle of that contour of the nose, come up here to brighten. We want to brighten this area. Brighten out here, out here, here, and here. What we don't want to do is put this where it wrinkles. See how I wrinkle there? I don't want to put it right in there because I'm just going to exasperate those fine lines. So we want to avoid that. I would also take some of that and put it on my eyelids to camouflage, and then you could do your eyeshadows on top of that. Next thing you're going to do is flip over here and use any of these lip and cheeks we used on that day. Sorry for the shimmer here. Plum. You can tap or use a brush. Plum. It's pretty. Plum. Then you take a big end of one of your brushes and you start to blend everything. Pushing the contour up, making sure you contour your nose. I can't see the phone, so I'm leaning over here to see in the mirror. It's hard getting old. Make sure you blend it under here and you blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Then you are going to take your illuminator, put your finger in it, and this looks beautiful on you. Put right here where you want some glow. It's all about the glow. You glow anyway. To set your makeup, take a dense brush. It could be any of the brushes you have. Push into vanilla dust. Press to set. Anywhere you feel like there's a shine. You know how to use your eyeshadow, your stardust. Um, so that's everything we used. If you have any questions, let me know. It's that simple. Just keep practicing. Remember, you could literally put everything on in dots with your fingers and then take your big brush and just blend everything. This makeup is buildable, so you can build it to the level or layer that you want. It should be ultimately light enough just to give you the look that you're looking for. So I am here. If you have any questions, let me know. Obviously, add your lip. I forgot to add that. I'm not a lip person. I did do that day we met at your house. I did Ruby. And then I put Lasa Inga on top. My new favorite. So La Cienga and Ruby. Lips. Come back. You are done. So let me know if you want to order that brush. Again, I'm sorry. I was just a goofball that night. Um, obviously, it didn't get in the order. But let me know. Have a great weekend.